New South Wales Rural Fire Commissioners strongly rejected the need to financially compensate volunteers, slapping down calls by the Firefighters Union. It comes as the Labor leader doubles down on his call for more to be done. Live now to political reporter Trudy McIntosh in Canberra. Trudy, what is causing this conflict? Well, Annalise, it's been quite the intervention this morning from the New South Wales RFS Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons. He has strongly rejected the need for more financial compensation or for these volunteers to be paid for their efforts in terms of the firefighting. He says that that is not what they tell them when he asks them on the ground. This has really been sparked again this morning. Front page of the Sydney Morning Herald, the Volunteer Firefighters Association, the union leader Mick Hulton, he has come out saying more needs to be done, arguing the situation as it stands is out of control given so many of these firefighters are not um, working at the moment they're not being paid for doing their job he has also raised concerns about the fact many have needed to crowdfund for what they have been doing in terms of buying new smoke masks and things like that here was his comments today but also the commissioner's reaction they often spend their own money on these things and and whilst uh, we accept that that's part of what we do um, when in this particular fire season uh, I'm really concerned that, uh, uh, that uh, it's starting to start impacting on their own welfare in terms of uh, you know, just those everyday expenses. Uh, we need to at least address this as a concern. I would put very little store in anything that organisation has to say. Uh, the, only, the only time I ever hear anything about it or my organisation ever hears anything from that mob uh, is through the media. Uh, there's, there's no visibility, uh, there's, there's no access to information about who they claim to represent, how many they represent, how they operate. Uh, they're, they're highly politically charged. Uh, their leader's a failed political candidate. Uh, and unfortunately, their motivations are really unclear. The Labor leader, Anthony Albanese, has spent the morning in the Blue Mountains today. He's been meeting with other volunteer firefighters. When he was there, he has continued his push. He was making the case yesterday that there does need to be federal support and federal compensation put into this, whether that be through tax breaks. He says he's not going to be prescriptive about that, but it's up for the Prime Minister to make a decision about whether there should be more financial compensation. He says that when he speaks to firefighters, unlike the RFS Commissioner, he believes their view is they would like some financial financial compensation? Well, I've spoken to the volunteer firefighters and there's not one of them uh, that I've spoken to who hasn't said that some form of compensation uh, is required. Not, not, not one. Do you think he's out of touch then with these people on the ground? It's not up to me to make... I have no criticism of uh, the extraordinary job that he continues to give. Uh, but uh, what uh, people are saying on the ground... And this is... This shouldn't be a big issue. Annalise, there's certainly plenty of emotion on either side of this debate, but the New South Wales Invo Emergency Services Minister today has said that he doesn't believe there should be compensation, so at least in New South Wales, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Trudy McIntosh, thank you. More than 2,000 firefighters will spend the holidays trying to contain bushfires raging across New South Wales. Stella Todorovic's at the RFS headquarters. Stella, the easing conditions have presented crews with some challenges this morning. That's right, Annalise. We have seen temperatures drop and winds ease back since Sunday, but it hasn't come without its challenges. We've spent a lot of this bushfire season talking about how dry the landscape is. Well, overnight we've seen humidity increase and there's a little bit more moisture in the air, but this has forced the RFS to suspend backburning operations for the time being. RFS Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons says it's the humidity that has helped, that has stopped firefighters from being able to get on the front foot of these blazes some back burning that's very close to properties and trying to shore up protection for properties such as the Blue Mountains region. Uh, crews were really busy putting those lines in last night but the increase in humidity and even some, even some mist or some moisture in the air has really suspended the back burning operations from about midnight last night uh, and we're probably not going to see a lot of that elevated humidity clear until late morning before lunchtime today. Annalise, the fire threat is expected to return early next week. It'll be hotter, drier and windier than we have seen so far this week. There are very real concerns that the northerly winds that will be coming through early next week could fan the flames of that Gospers mountain blaze, the mega blaze that's burning on multiple fronts northwest of Sydney and push it down towards the Great Western Highway and into the Penrith Valley. We've got so much fire in the landscape. We've got, just in the fires that we're dealing with at the moment, 
uh, more than two and a half million hectares of country and and there's a lot of very active fire edge there thousands of active uh, thousands of kilometers of active fire edge so we're really trying to consolidate as much as we can secure protection as best we can there are still almost 100 fires burning right across New South Wales. More than 40 of these are yet to be contained and crews will be working right through Christmas to try to get ahead of these fires to contain and strengthen and to contain these, uh, to, to strengthen the containment lines, Annalise. Sorry for that. Uh, but it hasn't dampened the spirit of our firefighters. Take a look at this. I'll get off the truck and I'll come and see all of you. And I'm looking forward to this afternoon. So remember, big smiling faces. Merry Christmas, everybody. Local fire brigades do this every single year, Annalise, and it gives a great opportunity for the children to spend some time with their local heroes. This has been an unprecedented bushfire season. We've seen more than 3 million hectares of, he of land burnt. We've, we've seen 800 homes destroyed or damaged, and tragically, eight lives have been lost. Two of those volunteer firefighters. And this Christmas time, our thoughts are definitely with all of the families who are seeing loved ones fight these blazes and also those who are mourning the loss of their their loved ones.